What's up guys, my name's Chance and right now I've got episode 2 of my Luis Figo Road to the Weekend League. Thank you to everyone that showed me support on my first episode. It was the very first video I ever uploaded to YouTube, or not to YouTube, but the very first FIFA video I ever uploaded to YouTube. And it got like 200 and some views. Or no, it got like, I don't know how many views it got, but I got like 270 some subscribers, so thank you very much for that. There wasn't any comments on telling me who to upgrade what position, so I went ahead and did it myself. But um, there was a comment that said that they thought the rules were too easy, which I think it was too. So these are the new rules for the series, um, non-rare bronze, rare bronze, and so on until you get up to team of the year, team of the season. So that part's staying the same. Now the difference is one Figo goal is two upgrades, one Figo assist is one upgrade, and then a win is one upgrade. So I feel like that will nerf it a little bit because like I said, I was able to get 19 upgrades. So I think the rules were pretty easy. Last time, like I said, it's my first ever FIFA series, so I, I'm i just learning. So here's the new team. We were able to make um, nine upgrades to non-rare silver and then one upgrade to rare bronze because we got 19 upgrades. Um, the rules changed now, but this is how it was before, so that's what we're doing. Um, in goal, we have Champagne. Left center back is Ignison. Right center back is uh, Alvarez Lopez. I think we, I think these were the two fastest non-rare silver center backs in the Liga BBVA. We do have a full Liga BB, BBVA side now. Right back, Alvaro Lemos, 77 pace. Left, bra left back, this is our only uh, bronze card left in the team, Arellano. Uh, 76 pace on a bronze card. I'm not going to spend too much time going through this. We got uh, Kirstisic, I don't know. Uh, Lorente and Sastre and then at left wing Burigniere and Nano and then uh, Luis Figo at right forward. Um, three games, eight goals and one assist in the last episode. We're going to try to continue that form now. We got six points in two games. We need 12 points for the title, nine for promotion. So with one win this episode, we'll be able to get promotion and with two wins, we'll be able to win the title. All right, let's get into the first game. All right, our first opponent of the episode he has Harry Kane, Coutinho, uh, Koke, Rakitic, Gaetan, Mares, Carvajal, Varane, Mascherano, uh, Felipe Luis, and then Navas in net. So, 100% a way better team than I have. I don't understand why he's running that formation, but it's the best team we've come up against so far. It's going to be a challenge. Let's see what we can do. Is this dude ever going to start playing or what? All right, well, right off kickoff, he uh, he gave the ball up because he wasn't playing. And I stole it from him right away, and then he started playing as soon as I stole it. But I sat there long enough for him, goddammit. And we got a goal, Figo, that is two upgrades, two minutes into the episode. It doesn't really get much better than that. But now we got to play defense because we know how difficult it is to play defense with players like this. I don't even feel bad about taking the ball from him when he's not playing. i got to get as many upgrades as I can. <laughs> All right, well, this guy is not as good as what his team suggests. Now we got an assist with Figo five minutes in. I think it was Nano or Nano that scored the goal. So that is three total upgrades from the first game. Like I said, I'm only gonna be playing two games from now on. Oh, damn, I tried the rainbow kick or rainbow flick or whatever it's called. <laughs> What? What happened? I I thought I almost scored a goal. It looked like I did almost score a goal. Okay. Whatever, I guess. Awesome. Sweet. Alright, we're gonna give it to Figo. Um, hopefully, if I score this, that'll be five upgrades. Oh, shit. That's too hard. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Oh, uh, I knew I held it too hard. A lot of times, if you don't for those of you who aren't very good at penalties, if you just basically barely tap the shoot button and then aim just barely to the left or to the right of the goalkeeper, it usually goes in because they usually jump right over it. Okay, Alex redeemed himself. My nose itches, I'm sorry. Alex was able to redeem himself because that shot he had earlier was... I could probably do better than that, and I had full reconstructive knee surgery a year ago, and I can barely walk, so, um, I don't think that was an assist for anybody, 
or for Figo, I mean, so that's not an upgrade, but that is another goal. All right, so at halftime, uh, 3-0, 13 shots, 9 on target, 63% possession to 2 shots, 1 on target, 37% possession. Not really having any troubles with this guy, so I guess what we got to do is try and concentrate on getting as many goals and assists with Figo to get as many upgrades as we can. Give it to Figo. Damn it. <laughs> I'm just going to be trying to get the ball to Figo from now on because he's the only one that gets us upgrades. Okay, that is 4-0. I uh, Three of the goals are to Figo, so that is six upgrades, I think. Or was there something else? I don't know. I'll count it up at the end. But, like I said, I'm just going to try to get Figo as many shots as I can. But the opportunity there, the opportunity is there to milk some goals from Figo, so I'm going to try my best to do just that. 39 yards. How, what's Figo's free kick stats look like? Not the greatest. Let's see what happens. If I make this goddamn thing... Alright. I mean, it was kind of close. It wasn't bad. It wasn't terrible. I just hooked it a little too much. Now I know next time what his hooking is like. So I can... Uh, I can compensate for that. Where's Figo at? Shit. He's trying to slide tackle me everywhere. Let me see if I can try and get into position to try and make a free kick. Alright, well, 5 0. I don't think that was an assist from anybody. I think it was it took a deflection off of one of his players. But Nano got has his second goal of the episode or of the game. Um Yeah, that's 5 0. I I don't know how many upgrades we have. Like I said, I'll have to count up at the end, but. This team's playing really well. His, like I said, his team is a million times far and beyond better than mine. Um, so I'm impressed. Alright, 90th minute we were able to get a fourth goal from Figo. So that's eight upgrades from just his goals. I don't remember if he had an assist or not. I'm going to have to check, but as it stands right now, as far as I know, that's eight upgrades for Figo, or eight eight points that are from, you know what I'm saying, god damn it. <laughs> so that is how the game is going to end. The game is going to end 6-0. We got a 10.0 match rating for Figo. Figo got only three goals. Okay, so I can't count. Figo got three goals. That is six total upgrades from that, and then he got one assist as well, so that is seven upgrades from uh, Figo's performance, and then we got the win, so that is an 8th upgrade. Um, Nano also had 2 goals, and then Beringer, uh, I think that's the Alex guy. He had 1 goal as well. Match facts, uh, 21 shots, 15 on target, 60% possession. He only had 3 shots, 1 on target with 40% possession. Um, like I said, his team was way better than mine, but he wasn't the greatest player in the world, so I had to take advantage, and I did. Uh, let's get on to the second game. All right, game two. Uh, we clinched promotion with that last win, by the way. He's got Lone Pele. Are you shitting me? Lone Pele, the highest rated non-inform card in the game. The rest of his team sucks, but Lone Pele, are you kidding me? I don't even know how I'm going to defend that. That's insane. Jeez. All right, well... All we can do is try. If we get this win, we clinch promotion, or we clinch the title. We already clinched promotion. We clinch the title without a loss in Division 10. I've never played against Pele before. I'm nervous. All right, let's go. Ref, awesome, man. All right, three minutes in. I was able to win a penalty. I think that was Boateng that took me down. I didn't even see if he had Boateng in his team. Yeah, Boateng. I just saw Boateng and thought that it looked like him. But anyway, um, we're going to give this to Figo again. Let's see if I can actually make the penalty instead of doing what I did last time. Oh, uh, it's too soft that time. Okay, well, that was the worst penalty I've ever shot in my life. But he panicked and went the wrong way. One goal, three and a half minutes in for Figo. That is two more upgrades. I feel like we're going to need to score a lot of goals because I have a silver defense and a silver goalkeeper and he has the best legend in the game. So, I can already tell that this guy is a better player than what the last guy was. 
I, I wouldn't say overall he has a better team, but he has the best legend in the game at striker. So I'm not going to be able to just try and get Figo goals in this one. I just got to try to win. Let's go, man! Oh, I don't, I don't know what that move is called. The one where you kick it and turn around. <laughs> but that is goal number two for Figo. Weak foot. Top right-hand corner. 2-0, 12 minutes in. I feel like I can't get too comfortable with this guy, though, because like I said, his attack force is insane. See this little scoop turn thing? All right, and then he goes and boots it left-footed into the right-hand side of the net. Goalkeeper didn't stand a chance. We're up 2-0. Let's go. Three nil, two minutes later, another field goal. So that brings the total to six upgrades for this game. Uh, I think we had eight in the last game, so that's 14 more upgrades already. Oh man. I feel like these upgrading systems that we're using are too easy, but the thing is these are very weak divisions. Once we start getting into the higher divisions, it's not gonna be this easy to just score a ton of goals, you know? So I think, I think these are the rules we're probably gonna stick with. And then we'll just see how it goes as we get into higher divisions. Oh, man. Oh, I really thought I was going to score there. <laughs> that would have been a fourth goal for Figo. Instead, we give Figo the assist. Just like last game, that's three goals and one assist for Figo, bringing the total to seven upgrades for this game as well. Just a little drop-off pass to, I don't remember who scored that, uh, Lorente. Okay, so you just had a little drop pass to Lorente. Lorente put it in the back of the net. That is seven upgrades from this game. Fifteen so far for the episode. Hopefully the win will give us a 16th. All right, so it is 4-0 at half. I'm winning, or I'm winning 4-0. I just said that freaking dumbass chance. Anyway, um, nine shots, seven on target, 61% possession. Uh, looks like we're going to clinch the Division 10 title, move up to Division 9 for next episode. Now, just like last game, we're going to try to get as many upgrades as we can. Uh, just from Figo's performance, we have 14 upgrades, and then we have... No, just from Figo's performance, we have 15 upgrades, because he had three goals and an assist last game, three goals and an assist this game, and then that's six goals, and I don't know, I think we're at like 15 upgrades right now. <laughs> I'll be sure to count it all up by the end of this, but... Oh, champagne, dude! Non-rare... Non-rare silver keeper... Able to keep out the first shot of the game for this guy. Dude, first episode we had Perez in goal. Second episode, Champagne. I don't know if I've given up a goal yet. And if I have, it's been my fault and not the goalkeeper's fault. Perez was a freaking animal. My non-rare bronze keeper, Perez, had seven saves in a game for me last episode. Jesus Christ. Uh-oh. My players are starting to get tired. He's starting to break through them pretty quickly. I think 4-0 is enough with only 30 minutes left, but he's definitely getting through my defense easier than he was easier. E blah, blah, blah. Easier than he was earlier. Champagne again, man! I don't know what it is, but I've gotten lucky and got the two most OP keepers in the game in the first two episodes. I know that wasn't, by any means, a super difficult save, but... He's a non-merge silver keeper. You expect non-merge silvers to let everything in that comes their way. Oh shit! One more, one more. Oh shit! Okay, that's the best skill run I've ever done in my life. <laughs> I am not a skiller at all. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm literally just moving the analog stick to see what happens. But I was up 4-0. I had the ball to Figo. I figured I'd see what happened. And I was able to make a few men miss and get the goal. It's not going to show it on the replay. But you you guys hopefully saw it um, the first time through. I never do shit like that. I mean, I can score goals every once in a while, but I can't do skill moves. 5-0. Uh, four goals for Figo. The numbers are getting too high. I'll just have to count up at the end how many upper grades we have. What oh, okay. Fuck? He was finally able to run through my entire team with Pele uh, in the 88th minute. 
Champagne was able to get a hand on it, but he wasn't able to keep it on the net. We have a 95-rated legend going up against a, whatever he is, 60-some rated non-rare goalkeeper. I don't think he's ever going to keep that out. But looks like we're going to win this game 5-1 to one, unless I'm able to get another goal or he's able to get another goal, I guess, in the last couple minutes. All right, and that is exactly how that game will end. 5-1 to me. Figo again with a 10.0. I think all four games he had a 10.0. He had four goals, so that is eight upgrades and one assist, so that is a ninth upgrade. Three assists for Nano, too. Nice. All right. And on the win, that's 10 upgrades, so we got 8, 10, 18. We, we nerfed the rules, and last game I got uh, nerfed the rules. Last game I got 19, and then I got 18 in this game. <coughs> Excuse me. Or not game, I mean episode. But... Like I said, as we start to progress through the divisions, it'll get tougher and tougher to score goals like that. Uh, this was Division 10, the lowest division in the game. So I'm not expecting for that to happen every time. But we were able to win the Division 10 title. We went 4-0, got 12 points in four tries. Um, this is what Division 9 is looking like. Looking like excuse me. Uh, 6 points to avoid relegation, 10 points to get promotion, and then 13 points to win the title. Um, I don't think it should be too much of a problem. This is what the team is looking like right now, but we have 18 upgrades. So we have 10 players that we can upgrade, and then we can upgrade them again 8 times. So I think I want to upgrade that uh, non-rare bronze to a silver, or that rare bronze to a silver. But then after that, we can do 17 more upgrades throughout the 10 positions. I'm going to be looking in the comments to see if there is anyone that does tell me wh who to upgrade where. Like I said, you can only do one upgrade per position per episode, but... Like, if I get more than uh, more than 10 upgrades, then you obviously have to upgrade a position twice. But what I'm saying is, like, don't take don't take my boy uh, Lorente and turn him into Team of the Year Modric. You know what I'm saying? Just, so we're going, like, one tier every time. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. But, yeah, I'm going to be looking at the comments. There wasn't anyone that let me know who to upgrade on my first video because I ain't shit and have, like, four subscribers. But, um... And if that happens again, then I'll just have to pick it. But uh, also, let me know if you guys have any other ideas for maybe other series I could do or just solo videos. I know there's a lot of like different sorts of drafts you can do. So if there is anything like that, be sure to let me know. But um, please leave this video a like if you did enjoy. Uh, also, subscribe if you did enjoy. Um, check out my Twitter and Instagram. I'll have that in the description. Like I said, I have a different social media for this channel versus or, um, than what I do for my other channel. Uh, so be sure to check that out. Let me know who to upgrade where. Let me know what other series or videos that video ideas you guys have. And I think that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day.